Andre from Online Acoustics again, and today we are going to talk about sound flow and the possibilities that we have about um, predicting the acoustics um, parameters and characteristics of uh, perforated and slotted panels. So I think sound flow is an amazing tool. On this matter, we have different kinds of materials that we can use. Um, for instance, uh, let me show you. So let's let me see if this is working. Let me like do this. Okay, so uh, perforated panels. We have different kinds of panels over here. So let's start with micro perforated foil. Uh, most of you might not know what this is. Uh, this is basically um, a foil. It could be usually made of, uh, for instance, uh, acrylic, acrylic with uh, specific uh, holes. And then we have like a backing with air cavity. And what this creates, let's put like four, let's put like four millimeters of put and put, sorry, let me just model this first. Something like this. So what this creates is a panel that can be used in airports and uh, shopping centers and uh, and it enables light to pass through the panel so we we, we have a translucent panel so we have light coming from the inside from the outside it 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 uh, it um, passes through the panel but the panel in conjunction with the hair cavity, has the ability to absorb sound in terms of the reverb of the room. And we are talking about, in this particular case, about large, large uh, spaces. So what we need mostly is absorption uh, at uh, mid-high frequency, so starting from 500 or 1K up. And this panel over here, it enables uh, a good absorption, uh, maybe starting from 1K up to 4 or 5K. So it is quite limited in terms of the, of the bandwidth that it works, but it's, it's, it can be quite effective uh, as well. And um, uh, I've, I know there's a couple of brands that uh, uh, manufacture this kind of... Uh, of materials, they are very expensive, as I am aware of. Um, but of course, this is a possibility that we can use sound flow is to is to uh, predict this, the the behavior of, of this kind of material. Now, the the great thing about sound flow is that we can uh, click on the layer of the material and we can customize everything over here. So we can we can click on the edit button here. And as you can see, there's a, um, uh, a section over here which, sa which says shape of hole. So we can choose the kind of hole that we want, like for instance, circle, um, square. We have so many options over here. And we can change the characteristics of the, um, of the panel. So you can change the we can change the for instance the diameter of the of the the, the hole for instance or if if it's uh, if it's a rectangular hole we can specify uh, different uh, possibilities over here let's put like uh, 0.5 uh, something like this so there's so much po so many possibilities over here that we can use to predict the, uh, the acoustics of the panel. Uh, there's also an option over here, which is porosity percentage. So basically, it enables you to change the different kind of materials and, uh, and, and uh, check the, the porosity of the, of the panel itself, so it's expressed in, in, in a percentage. So this is one of the panels that we can use. So let's go back to circle and okay. And uh, let's go back to, I don't know what, what I, I don't know what I, what I was doing over here, but okay, let's start, let's move to another kind of panel. So now, uh, I don't know what 
can, oh, there are some, there seems to be a real, so I, I need to, okay, let me just give him a moment. Right, now I need to update this so I can, so I need to update the panel, so, and, and it will save to uh, another, uh, to a file. And okay, so I've now have, have, have updated the, f the panel. Of course, I can create different files for different options. So everything is possible with this software. Uh, we have different kinds of panels. For instance, the typical one is the perforated gypsum board. So this could be gypsum board, but it also could be um, um, MDF, for instance. Uh, we have different options over here. And uh, so these panels over here, any of them, so I'm going to do the perforated gypsum board, they need uh, um, absorption behind the panel to work. So this example over here, I have an air cavity over here, and as you can see the chart over here has a very low absorption value of only 0.2. So what I need to do is basically put absorption uh, in the back of the panel, rock wool, and now we have a proper panel working in our in sound flow. Uh, this is, uh, um, let me put, uh, let me put uh, maybe 12, 13 millimeters, for instance, which seems more adequate for the real thickness of the material. Um, of course, you can change the thickness of the material on this section over here. You can change the rock wall. You can have uh, an air cavity over here. So let me click on fit so you can fit the curve. So for instance, uh, um, Let's say that I want to increase the absorption at mid low frequencies, maybe around 200 Hertz. I would put an air cavity over here. And uh, here we have the panel with further absorption over here. So 200 Hertz, we have 0.8. If we exclude the air cavity, we have five, uh, tw uh, sorry, 200 Hertz, 0.5. Um, this kind of, of uh, perforated and or slotted panels are very used in concert halls, theaters, and maybe in, even in some tracking rooms. And um, they are used for different reasons. For instance, in large spaces, what we have is that the volume is so big that the, the hair that is enclosed in the, um, in the space, it will absorb sound at uh, um, high frequencies. So basically, uh, we have this roll-off, but the air is, 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 um, is uh, basically um, reducing the reverberation uh, time at high frequencies. So we don't really need a panel to re reduce the reverberation time at high frequencies if, if the air itself is doing that. So this is one of the reasons why you see this kind of panels in, in concert halls, auditoriums, and uh, churches, and etc., in large spaces. Uh, of course, we can tune the panel for, for instance, this is tuned at 500 Hertz. We can tune this further into um, a higher frequency or into a lower frequency. Uh, one of the ways that we can do this is to play with the thickness of the panel. For instance, so if let's say that I put 23. Uh, uh, millimeters. Uh, now I have increased the plate and the, and the, the frequency of the panel in terms of the peak has come down. So uh, let's say that I put like uh, eight millimeters. Now it, it, the frequency has shifted from 500 to six, uh, 630. Okay, so sorry. And um, so basically that, that's it. And so let's skip it uh, 30 millimeters, which is like a, a standard for the industry in terms of gypsum board. And of course, we can also come to the edit section and we can change the type of, um, type of um, hole. We can use the calculation tool and we can, use an, uh, we can use this tool, for instance, to check the opening area so let's say this is 15%. So let's say that I want to put this into 20%. Uh, 
I will reduce this a little bit and maybe like this. So now I have 20% opening area, okay. And I have shift the, the, the peak frequency of our, of, our, of our pedal. Of course, I need to update or save the, the panel. I'm going to update on my information. And uh, that's it basically. Uh, let me see over here. Okay, so I need to, well, if I click outside, it goes to the uh, one, one thing that I didn't tell you about. If, if, if I click on the, on the layers, it shows me the layer properties. If, if I click outside, it shows me the structure properties. Um, and uh, so very simple to use, very intuitive. Uh, I can change to a uh, flat absorber type as well. Let's me, and then I would click over here. Click on edit. Yes, it, it has changed the peak frequency because the uh, flat absorbers are different from perforated. So I've, I've, I've also have changed um, the absorption area. So let's say that I want to, um, let's say that I want even to lower the frequency of the panel in terms of the peak. So I would do something like, uh, sorry, I would do something like this uh, backwards, maybe 30. 50 maybe no uh, 80 let's do let's let's try yeah so I have reduced so I have reduced the f the, f the peak of the panel which is what was 250 now it's 200 Hertz so it's basically absorbing uh, uh, mid low frequency this is not very useful for concert halls or for uh, large spaces but it can be useful for instance for for tracking rooms or maybe even for control rooms where uh, I don't want my panel to absorb, to act as a broadband panel, but I want to, uh, I want the panel to act at mid-low frequencies. So here we have it. Uh, so, uh, of course, we can use the Exanon um, ellipse tool, so different kinds of, of possibilities. Uh, so let me update, yes, update, yes. Then we have a uh, slotted panel with absorption in the slit. And here we have another panel. And of course we can, we, uh, we can, do, we can do so many stuff with this. We can edit this when you can change the properties of the panel. And um, now the difference between this option and all the other options is that there is absorption in the slit. This is used on this section over here flow, resistivity, inside hole, and we have a whole value over here, which is the absorption created by the, by the, the, the panel itself. And uh, there's a small absorption value over here. And we can, of course, change this, 20 whips, and uh, that's it. Of course, we, we can compare different panels as well. So let me see if I can... Uh, Mm, where do I have? Just give me a moment. Uh, so, so now I'm comparing my uh, micro perforated foil with my slotted helmets absorber. So we have different panels. As you can see, of course, the micro perforated foil it's much less absorb absorptive than the slotted helmets absorber um so sorry i usually keep like this you iso 354 uh, makes more sense to me at least uh, that's the way that i work with and uh, as you can see great software for predictions there's also some stuff that i didn't talk on the previous videos which is this tool over here so basically you can have the information on the chart or you can have the information as a, as a um, text, as a table. And you probably, I think you can, pro I don't use that, this, that, this as much, but I think you can select everything and you can copy past to Excel if you want. I usually don't do that kind of stuff. I usually work inside the, the software itself. 
And of course, we can expand the shard to be larger uh, and to create pretty uh, absorption shards. So very easy to use, very simple, very effective. Um, so I have talked about absorption. I have talked about uh, perforated panels and I'll do now a video about plates. Uh, so stay tuned and pre please subscribe our channel.